James Cox here. Of course, everybody that's already subscribed to my channel already knows that. Um, I haven't really vlogged or, you know, really, I mean, I put some videos together, the last couple of videos, uh, one I edited two pieces together, and uh, the other was just an old video of the old courthouse down in Pittsburgh, that's the second video, third video back from this one as you're seeing it, and I just uploaded that, I found it on my camera and I uploaded it, it says what time is it or something. Um, I hope you're all doing well, despite the uh, current situation. Uh, today I'm using the Olympus Tough, I think it's the 870. It's a nice little camera for vlogging with. Um, it's not a, this is not a uh, paid advertisement by the way, but uh, you know, I, I think I really do need to let people, start to let people know, um, you know, what equipment I'm using, because I've got a bunch of cameras that are just gathering dust. Because, you know, as before, I was busy uh, doing other things like Uber and Lyft and all that stuff. Anyway, um, enough of the nonsense! Let's get on with what I'm about to um, talk about. I bought this some time back. Um, I bought it from, it's a Garden Line bird feeding station. And I bought it from Aldi. I think it was like $9.99. I've just unboxed this. Look at all the stuff that you get in here. You get a suet cage. Put your suet in that. Um, you get the pole. Um, you get these that fit on the pole. You get a, um, get a bird bath. And uh, yeah, let's have a look. So... Like I said, the bullets from Aldi, it's a garden line, bird feeding station, and yeah, you get a few things. It's like a stake that goes into ground and fasten it all together and put all that together like that. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, you'll, you can see here that I've got a couple of bird feeders here. I actually need to put up, I've got some around the back, um, living in the woods, you know, living in the woods, um, a lot of bugs, a lot of bugs in the woods, a lot of bugs in the woods, so, um, thing with that is that mosquitoes, and, uh, <laughs> people don't like mosquitoes, so, Attracting birds by having bird feeders hopefully keep the bugs down. I know when we had the chicken, I know when, they had the, when we had the chicken, we had less bugs than what we did when. Well, we seem to have had le we seem to have less bugs than what we did before we had the chicken. And now I'm trying to attract as many birds, as many birds into the yard as possible, so that um, we can. Get the mosquitoes and any other insects that come in here that, you know, we're only plus they're good for birds too. You know, the, you know, the birds will eat these bugs and feed off them as as, as well as the um, as the seed and stuff that I've been putting out. So anyway, I'm gonna assemble this and once it's up, I'll uh, get right back to the video. So as you can see, I put my pole in the ground here. Uh, in the bottom of the pole, there's like a fork. So you push that in, it gives it added stability. And the reason why I'm putting it here, this is the side of the house, is because there's a, just behind me here, there's a window that uh, when we open it, the cats look out. So, you know, I'm quite sure that they'll be happy to see this bird feeder here. So in the box are two of these, a thing that goes on top also, and these are to hang things off. And these go on just by simply putting this on here like that like like so right and you get it to where you want it to be so I'm gonna put this one here I think and then you just give it some leverage and that keeps it keeps it locked on All right uh, so that's the, that's one now it does come with also a bird bath right? So I'm going to put this one, wait a minute, on here like this. So, I'm going to put that like that. Alright, so that's that and that. Alright, um, 
And then, <clears throat> so there's another one of them. I don't know if I'm going to be using this, but so there's another one here, look. So I think what I'll do is I'll just... Maybe put that one there like that. So you got your bird bath, you've got a couple of angers here. And then, you've got this, right, which fits on top. It's got a little, uh, gubbins. It's got a little, little screw here. There you go. Alright. And, once you tighten that up, like so. So that's on. Uh, I can hang this, which is now filled with uh, peanut butter. A peanut butter delight, which, by the way, smells absolutely delicious. It's peanut butter and suet uh, in this cage. Birds are going to love this. So, this. I'm going to, I think, put on on here. Alright, so now the uh, pole is set up with everything on it. You know, uh, like I said, the, it, you get the pole, you get the bird bath, you get the cage to put your suet in, you get this arm here, this arm, this top piece. You don't get this, this was additional. I purchased that additional. It was cheap. I think that was actually less than the pole. I can't remember if it was $5.99 or $6.99. It's the same brand. Got it from Aldi. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I have got some um, this is some other bird feeders too. The wooden, like the other ones that we've got around the you know the uh, the cabin, and they have these on the side and I got some poles that you can either put on handrails or you can uh, put them I think on, on, on window ledges, windowsills, whatever they'll fasten so you can have them outside a window. So yeah right behind me uh, the cats will be able to look out here and they'll be able to watch the birds feed in. No doubt uh, squirrels and raccoons might come you know who knows and uh, get into all this but I guess we'll just have to watch it and see there are things that you can get I've seen them it's like a cone that goes here and it's to stop them uh, getting up there also I've seen people use slinkies they bought slinkies and what you would do is you'll fasten the slinky to to round about here and it where the slinky would hang down and when the squirrel comes and tries to uh, climb up it the slinky you know like drops and you know they they fall off and they can't they can't get up uh, there is a bit of a tree there just above it so I guess they could come down off there onto it we'll see hey listen it's nature a couple of things that I accomplished in this video while you know staying at home a couple of things uh, one I'm outside I'm getting some sunlight but I'm still at home right I'm still at home it's in my yard right uh, and I'm getting some sunlight and getting some air and I'm appreciating because you know there's, there's a couple of things I think that we take for granted we take for granted uh, nature right and so this instead of sitting at the computer all day long or you know I don't have a TV but if somebody was to get one of these I think they'd find this pretty more entertaining and more truthful than what they're watching on TV and on the computer so um, that's that's you know that's one thing I'm out getting some air you know I'm, I'm doing something to alleviate the a, a bit of boredom if you want to say and it's going to be interesting to watch and see what unfolds here Two, nature the birds you know, nature, the birds will come, they'll feed on this, hopefully it will attract them to the garden, well, not much of a garden, but the 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 area that I live in, they'll stay around here because there's plenty of food, and that they will eat, you know, they'll eat bugs, you know, they'll eat ticks, fleas, hopefully, and, um, um, what's the other ones, the, the, uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> mosquitoes, right? The ones that love Janine. So, um, yeah, uh, you know, a couple of things accomplished here. The bees are out in force. I don't know if you've seen any flying in front of the, the camera. So, yeah, I've had this for a while, a few weeks now, and I decided, you know, what a beautiful day it is today. I will go out and I will put this up and also make a video about it. So, if you like this, please don't forget to put a, a like on it. Give it a share, right? Uh, leave a comment down below. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, I'm going to see, I'll probably make some videos of this and uh, see what happens, whether it gets fed. Like I said, I've got a few more of these around the cabin. And um, birds love them, so it's definitely attracting birds. The cats are going to love this. Right, be, right behind me, there's a window up there. They'll be looking down, and hopefully, the birds will come and they'll feed on this. If not, guess with squirrels, who knows. But uh, anyway, that's all I have for you today. I love you all. Please take care. Um, let me know what you're doing while um, you're staying at home. I'd, l I'd love to hear from you. Uh, leave me a comment down below. And don't forget, peace, flip flops, gandy, and all that good stuff. I love you all. Take care. Be well. And don't forget, we, you know, we take for granted things in nature. You know, the birds, the bees. All that stuff. Take care. Bye for now.